Well, after showing improvement in the last five or six games, um, we, took a, we took a major step back today. Um, yesterday in practice during our zone shell segment, the 15 minute segment with two minutes to go in the segment, I said to the guys, if we play the way we're playing in this zone segment, we're gonna lose by 30 tomorrow. So I told Chris Oaks, I said, restart the clock. We're gonna redo this segment because this is unacceptable. We're not, we're not locked in. All right, we're a step too slow on rotations. We're not communicating with each other. And uh, we restarted the segment and it was better. It was better, uh, but it wasn't what it needed to be for us to be effective tonight. And um, that practice, that segment is what it carried over till today. And uh, I don't know if it's fatigue. I don't, I don't know what it is. Um, but it, we, were just a, we were just a step slow on every rotation. And um, our communication wasn't there. Um, so, you know, um, we took a step back. We took a step back after, after taking steps in the right direction in the last, last couple games. Um, so we just got to get back, back to it and, and um, get back on track because right now it's, we're, just, we're just in a funk right now. And the defensive woes carried over to offense and um, just didn't, couldn't find a rhythm offensively either. Um, but, you know, it's easy to play defense, a lot easier to play defense when you're hitting shots the way that they were hitting shots. Yeah, I said, you know, we can't, we, we, our margin for error is, is, is zero, it's slim. And so we can't afford to, to take days off from practice. I gave them, I had three guys play over 40 minutes against UCLA, so I gave them Thursday off to, to recover. I said, hey, get rest, um, get treatment if you need treatment, but, you know, we're going to get after it on Friday. And, you know, we didn't, we didn't bring it on Friday. And so, um, you see the result of, of, of not bringing it in practice yesterday. They go right back and use ten three pointers mm -hmm. and four wide open looks. How many when you play that system, how does Silva sort of figure half time? How many of those things are stressful? He was hitting some threes at the top of the key over my guards and when I walked past him in the line to shake his hand, he's six eight, six nine. You know, he's just He's got a great size, and um, you know, but he found a rhythm, and they 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 did a great job feeding him, did a really good job finding him. You could see that it was a it was almost like a team effort to get him looks, and um, you know, they 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 knock down shots. Typically against the zone, you want teams to take threes, you want them to. Um, tonight was one of those nights where they capitalized on that. Well, typically we're, we're, we're they put in the rear view and they and they come back with the right attitude. This one's tough. This one's tough. This one's tough for them. It's tough for the staff because uh, we just didn't have the fight that we normally have. Um, so, you know, it's my job to make sure that we get back on the right track. Um, you know, I said to them before the game, I said, I said, continue to love. That was one of the, one of the keys, continue to love. I said, because guess, I, said, I said, guys, with what we're going through right now, the fact that we all, my staff and myself, we all come to work eager to, to, to be with these guys, eager to teach them, eager to get into practice and, 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 and continue to improve. And the fact that they continue to come to practice with the right attitude, wanting to be around each other, wanting to practice, wanting to be around us, uh, means that we love each other. So, so one of the keys before the game was continue to love. And, um, you know, we're going we're gonna to see what that looks like uh, on Tuesday. Um, you know, we have, we have tomorrow off, we have Monday off, and, and, and we're getting after it on Tuesday. So we're going to see what that looks like. I anticipate our guys will be fine. Uh, they're a close group. Uh, I'm sure they're embarrassed. And, um, you know, they have pride. 
you know. So I'm, I'm sure I'm sure they'll be fine. And maybe it's good to go up up to a hostile environment like McHale and, and go play a game right now. You know, um, you know, maybe it'd be good for them. One hundred percent. Yeah, we went. We, we we mixed up our defenses. We we went from zone. We went to man. Um, we trapped ball screens. We we did. We yeah. We we made a we made a bunch of adjustments. But once they once they got it going, it was tough. It was tough to slow slow them down. Um, it just seemed like the shooting was infectious at that point for for all their guys. Um, and it was it wasn't wide open threes, it was contested threes, and they just continued to hit them. So, but we made, yeah, we 100% we made adjustments. We, you know, I guess we could have full deny, full denied boat right, but, you know, that's, that's leaves four guys out on the island. So, it's tough. Just on Paris Austin, uh, his former Lightning has had one two assists. Going to occur a rough game against UCLA as well. What can you guys do? What can you do to be more efficient? Just hit the ball. Well, like I tell Paris all the time, um, in the beginning of the game, get your teammates involved, you know, and then then at, towards the end of the game, then that's when you can really look to 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 get yours, to to be more aggressive from an offensive standpoint. And um, you know, in the beginning of the game, he came out looking to get his, you know, took a couple shots, and I'm like, you know, that's not what I'm, you know, what we need. We need you to get everybody else involved first, and then look to be aggressive. So we just have to continue to preach that with him.